Welcome back to our channel, Kentucky Fried Fun, and welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of cleaning and decorating my table for Mardi Gras. So if you would like to see what I use to decorate our table for Mardi Gras, stay tuned. Don't leave me here forever. Don't let me be alone. Just see you and me together. So Before setting out my Mardi Gras decor, I wanted to go ahead and take down my Valentine's decor and then give the table a good wipe down. And to do so, I'm just going to be using my Mrs. Meyers All Purpose Spray in the Basil scent. I do have a link down in my description box if you would like to get some free Mrs. Meyers product. And there you see a spilling some toothpicks. If you like Mardi Gras or if you just simply like changing up your decorations for the seasons, give this video a, a big thumbs up and if you do like that sort of thing, head on over to my channel and browse through it. You'll find plenty more of decoration videos as well as obviously some cleaning videos and I'm currently going through a 12 week declutter series. If any of that type of content interests you, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe. And then once you've hit that red subscribe button, be sure to also click that little bell and that will just send you a notification of each time that I upload a new video. This is a challenge being hosted by two wonderful ladies here on YouTube. This and that with Denise Jordan and creatively miss me with Stephanie. I'll be sure to leave a link to both of their channels up in the cards and down in the description box. I know you will absolutely love them. Denise does a live, actually two lives now each week, helping out us smaller YouTubers. So if you are a smaller YouTuber, I highly suggest checking her out. And I will also leave a link to the playlist up in the cards and at the end of this video and down in the description box of all the other ladies and their Mardi Gras tablescapes. Now that I had the table all clean, it was time to set up my tablescape. I had placed down those placemats and thought I put a clip but apparently I didn't and then I just set out that goblet that I'll place my beads and you'll see in a second and a lot of the decor I'm using I did use in my New Year's Eve tablescape but these beads are new I found them or new to me I found them at a thrift store I did wash them and I'm just going to separate them by color because I'm OCD like that and then I will put them in the jar in my random OCD way. At the same store that I found those beads, I also happened to find this little red dress pin. And I know Denise does this challenge and I didn't happen to have a pin. And that only happened to cost me a quarter. So Denise, I have my pin for next year. Now that I had the beads all in my little wine goblet that actually, funny story, is from my grandma, I am just going to be placing each of these little crown jewel necklaces, I guess you could call them, and in my tray and I'm going to have it to where each crown is like hanging out at the front.
And for my mask, I'm just going to be using, I'm showing you that the one strap broke, the gold mask. I thought it went best and I thought it was cute to cover up the napkin holder. Whenever I do masks, I'm reminded of the time back in college when we went to what we would call fine arts and where we dress up all fancy and put on masks. So I wanted to share that with y'all. Then I'm just filling in the napkin holder with new napkins. Now that I had all my decorations set, I needed to wipe down the table because the feather boa thingy, whatever you call it, had some loose feathers and I also wanted to give the floor a good vacuum. Now I'm just placing the chairs back and you'll see that this one seat is loose. I need to just buckle down and screw that back together, but there's only the two of us. I hope that y'all enjoyed watching me put together my Mardi Gras tablescape. Like I said in the video, it is some of the decorations are very similar to what I used in my New Year's Eve tablescape, but I honestly am loving this setup better because as you can see, our table is small. It's just the two of us. So I love being able to have a tray that I can just easily pick up in the evenings after dinner so I can just easily wipe off the table. And so I love having everything fit on one tray. I hope y'all enjoyed watching me put together of my Mardi Gras tablescape. And if you did, please be sure to leave my video a, a big thumbs up. And if you're new coming over from the challenge and you like what you saw today, I included some cleaning. I love to do cleaning videos. I am currently finishing up a 12 week declutter challenge and obviously I like to do decor, DIYs, lifestyle type videos. So if that interests you, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and once you've clicked that little red subscribe button, be sure to also click that little bell right next to it and that will send you a notification of when my next video comes out. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day and I will see y'all later. Bye!